Today on Horseland, a camping trip goes up in flames when the crew is faced with a raging forest fire. The lake could save them, but Zoe and Chloe can't swim. Ah! Ooh, what a mask! <laughs> Who knew humans could do so much damage in one night? But they're our humans, remember? Give them a break. Accidents happen. What? Hmm. Ever notice that when responsible humans are careful, there aren't nearly so many accidents? How would you know anything about responsibility? All you're responsible for is sleeping, eating, and grooming. Stop it. The most important thing is that all of our humans got home safe. Don't you see that? Well, don't you? I guess so. For once, I agree. Thank you. Shep, you're just lucky you didn't go along like you wanted to. I wish I had. Then I could have helped. I remember the morning they left. Everyone packed up and ready to go? Sure am. Yep. You betcha. I don't get why I can't go on this trip. They need me. How can I look after the horses when they're miles away? The kids are old enough to take good care of the horses by now. Besides, that campsite is a long while away. Not a bucket of slop to be found for miles. I hope they get lost for a while. Maybe then we'll have a little peace and quiet around here. I like it better when everyone's together. I think Bailey's staying here, Champ. Nice work, Alma. That'll hold just fine. Thanks, Will. Ten points for style, Molly, but... I'm not sure that's gonna make it past the gate. Oh, well. Yeah? You're no fun. And what have we here? Two-day supplies. Just like you said, Will. We are so prepared. You look a little over-prepared to me. You must be kidding. Where are you planning to plug this? A girl has to look her best. Can't you bring an extension cord? Let's reorganize some of this. Whoa! Hey! We need that stuff! Sorry, but, uh... What about packing some camping supplies instead? What? How many pots do we really need? Chloe, Zoe, everybody has responsibilities on the trip that affect the whole group. If there's trouble, we've got to be ready to handle anything. For instance, a first aid kit is an absolute must, especially when there's a cell phone inside. It's programmed to call Horseland's emergency numbers. Pre-programmed numbers? What fun is that? What trouble could we get into on a little camping trip? I don't get it. Everyone else is so seriously prepared. Why do we have to bring anything? Somebody has to stay and get the chores done, Bailey. There will be other camping trips, Bailey. <laughs> oh, well, Aztec. Maybe it'll rain on them. We're coming to a meadow. We can give the horses some rain. Thank goodness. All this climbing is exhausting. Oh, Will. This is beautiful. Sure is. Worth the whole ride just to see this. Uh, how much longer till the campsite? You'd think one patch of dirt would be as good as another. Last one across the meadow does the dishes! Giddy up, Button! Go, boy! Now hold on a sec. Uh, why not? Come on, Jimber. Let's show them how it's done. Look at Sarah go! 
One, Sarah. Why did I call last in washes dishes? That wasn't a real test of horses or riding either. I know it only matters when there's a panel of judges. Pepper always rides better with an audience. Good run, Scarlet. The campsite is just over that ridge. Let's go get that campfire started and break out the marshmallows. Get your bags and saddles off your horses and rub them down. Alma, start getting the tent set up. Aye, aye, Captain Will. Molly, you unpack the food and utensils, and remember to boil all the water we use for cooking or drinking. Got it, Will. Sarah, there's some dead branches back towards the meadow. Saw them. Get it? Very funny, but glad you're on it. After this camp out, we should get some serious spa treatment. There's a lake just over the hill. We'll need all four water jugs filled. I thought we came here to get away from chores. Yeah, some vacation. Fine. No water means no supper. So which one do you want to tell the others? All right, all right. Looks like we're water maidens. When you go camping, you depend on each other. Everybody does his or her share. I'd say carrying all four of these things full of water is way more than our share. Right. No way I'm lugging that much water up a hill. Ugh. Much better now. Let me give it a try. Ugh, you're right, Zoe. This is much better. Listen to those humans complain. You'd think we'd ridden on their backs up that mountain. Come on, Jimba. They just kids. I bet you pitched a shoe or two when you were a cult. I don't think Jimba ever was a cult. He was born old. <laughs> <laughs> And then they hear the scratching again, right outside the passenger's side door. Becky Sue slams the lock down on the door and screams, Go, go, go! But when Billy turns the key, the engine tries and tries, but it won't start. The scratching gets louder. Then the door handle starts clicking, but the car still won't start. And then, with a big thump, something lands on the roof. <gasps> Oops, sorry. <sighs> then, the car starts, and they speed away, tearing through the night until they get back to Becky Sue's house. They're home. They're safe. But as Becky Sue opens the car door, she hears a skittering, like claws on metal. And then, the ravenous animals are upon her. Becky Sue screams. <coughs> but then, the pair of squirrels grabs her bag of popcorn and runs off into the night. <laughs> Great. Now how are we going to get to sleep? No! Tell us another one! Nah, that's the classic. The others aren't as good. Anyway, it's time to shut down for the night. Good night, Gail. I'll be right over there in my tent. There's not much water left here to douse the fire, but the other two jugs you feel should be plenty. Uh, other two jugs, right. Yeah, those two others. I told you we should have filled all the jugs. No, you didn't. So what are we going to do? Well, I'm not going back down to the lake in the dark. Just put some dirt on it now. That's good enough, right? Who's going to know? By the time we get up, the fire will have been out for hours. Help me untie the horses! What happened? 
I don't know, but we've got to get everybody over toward the lake. Huh? Fire! Ah! Everybody up! Okay, okay. Ah! Uh oh. Come on! Go! Run! Gotta go back and get something. Slow down. Everybody. Our humans are back there. Hey! Stop! Where's Will? Will! Will! Hurry up! <coughs> there you are, Will! Thank goodness! Why did you go back to get your stuff? You could have been hurt! I stayed well away from the fire, but I had to go. I knew we'd need this. Glad we didn't leave it behind at Horseland. Yeah, good thing Chloe and I packed it. Now let's get our horses. What? <laughs> hey, what's... what's that? This better be good. Do you have a clue what time it is? Yeah, Will, got it. I'll get the word out. Just keep everybody safe. It's going to be okay, girl. We're all here now. So what now? That fire's spreading. Everyone get on your horse and follow me. What are we going to do for saddles? We'll ride bareback. We've all done it around the stables. Bareback sounds like so much fun. How about it, Chili? Let's give it a try, Pepper. Let me help you, Molly. What about you, Alma? Button and I have been working on a new trick. <laughs> nice one! Okay, follow me! Cut us off. Now what? We gotta stay near the lake. Oh no! The fire is cutting off every trail. What are we going to do? Into the lake. It's our only chance. Yeah, nothing like swimming in your PJs. Did they say we're gonna? Swim? Couldn't we try another way? We just tried the other ways. Come on! We're running out of time! without learning to swim? No time to discuss this now! Now when the fire's getting so close! One of you can hang on to me. I'm a strong swimmer. No way! It's a long way across the lake. Even a good swimmer could get dragged down by the extra weight. Hmm. I don't weigh that much. Let me think. Calypso! What is wrong with those humans? Don't they know enough to get out of the way of a fire? Chloe! Zoe! Everyone! Get on your horses! Come on, you two! Hold on! We can do this! Come on, Scarlet! Everyone! Grab onto their manes and hold on tight! That's right! We'll be across in no time! Come on, Chili! 
Come on, Pepper. Zoe and Chloe, you're gonna be okay. I can't do this. <gasps> yes, I can do this. Just hold tight! You'll be fine! Easy, boy. We need to stay near Chloe and Zoe in case they need us. Is everybody okay? There's Will. Chloe and Zoe are okay. <laughs> I hear them squealing. <laughs> Chloe, try to go faster. You must be freezing, too. such a good swimmer. <laughs> hey, watch it, Calypso. I'm wet enough already. Thanks for the ride, Miha. Now we wait, right, Will? Yep, we're safe here. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew it could feel so cold in the summer? Who knew I'd be so glad to see firemen? True. So who's going to mention which of us was in charge of dousing our campfire? Actually, there's someone else I'm more worried about right now. You blame yourself for the fire, don't you? Who else? We were all given responsibilities. It's not your fault that Chloe and Zoe didn't live up to theirs. <coughs> but I was in charge of the trip. I'm responsible for everyone. And you did a great job. This was just a bad night. We could have all been hurt, including the horses. Instead, we lost a few tents and saddles. And it's awful that a few acres of woods were burned. But we're all safe because of you. <laughs> Achoo! Achoo! See? I sure hope my aunt and uncle see it that way. Your human sure came through when things got a little scary back there. He's not bad, far as humans go. Sometimes I wish they'd have a little more common horse sense. Yeah, a little of that would have gone a long way tonight. It was just an accident. Humans make mistakes. But they can sure be brave, helping each other when they're needed. The whole time? I didn't know if you all were hurt or worse. I must have hit redial a hundred times. <laughs> Guess this phone doesn't work underwater. <laughs> <laughs> and do the horses get the credit for saving the humans? Probably not. There better be some fresh oats and some serious grooming time waiting for us when we get home. Hey, Scarlet. Let's get you guys home now. We couldn't have done it without any of you. Yeah! Way to go, Calypso! Muy bueno, Button! Race your back! Alto! Pelegro! Maybe we'd better not. We'd probably slide off. I told you a few drops of water wasn't enough to douse the fire. You did not! Did so! Billy, I don't know what your folks are thinking, but there's no excuse for- They'll understand, Will. They know mistakes happen. Zoe, what does Mom always tell you about being more responsible? Me? You're the one who always gets us in trouble, Chloe. You're the big sister. You're older. You're supposed to know everything. That's what you're always telling me. Trust me, my parents will definitely understand. Besides, Chloe and Zoe's parents will be getting the big bill from the Forest Service for putting out the fire. Not to mention the bill from Horseland for the lost gear. Good thing they can afford it. thought it was bad when we tipped over a flower pot or tracked mud into the human's house, but this mess is awful. Humans can be great, but when they get careless, they can seriously mess things up. When we make a mess, humans yell at us and shoo us away. What else can they do? It's not as if we can fix it. It's easier for them. They have hands. 
They can use tools, and sometimes that means they have to try to fix what they've broken. Uh, uh, uh. How many of these trees do we have to plant? I guess we have to keep going until we replace all the ones we burned. We'll be here forever! All this because we thought hauling up the water was just too much work. What if we just... Oh no, not again. You just keep digging, sister. 